The Lord said, It is time for me to speak to my children like never before. My spirit will work in this time for this is the end time. I am removing the veil that the enemy has placed on the eyes of my people. I am here to testify what the Lord has done in my life. Last time I said we must pray for the food. The enemy is stifling the believers thanks to world food. He is destroying the spiritual life of God's people through the food that is affecting them. The enemy is disconnecting us from the spirit through his device, such as world food. Today, I want to talk about one of the tools of Satan that is stifling the spirit of God in our life, to the point that we get disconnected from God and have become unable to experience the presence of God. Thanks to this device, the enemy is stopping God's children from seeing visions and dreams about things from above. Today I will talk about world music that is stopping God's children from being in the presence of the Lord. I was not yet a believer when the Lord spoke to me in the ear for the first time. Back then I wanted to be free to do what I wanted. However, when I observed the lives of those who called themselves Christian, they were not an example for me. Back in the Catholic Church, I heard that heaven and hell were real places, and I knew in my heart that these were real. Therefore, I attended the Catholic parish. And when I came to Christ in 2002, I decided to be a genuine Christian. I met a sister that was serious with the Lord, and she became my mentor. Since she was listening to world music, I thought it was not an issue. However, as soon as I started to attend the church, the Lord began to reveal hidden things that he manifested powerfully. I was then influenced by carnal Christians that were attached to world music, and I began to sing songs of artist Kofi Olamide, Antoine Christophe Agbepa Mumba, 13 July 1956, known professionally as Kofi Olamide, is a Congolese Sukhas singer, dancer, producer, and composer. He has had several gold records in his career. He is the founder of the Quartier Latin International Orchestra, with many notable artists, including Fali Ipupa and Fere Gola. When my husband heard me singing songs of that artist, he was stunned, for we don't hear world music in our homes. I told my husband, this singer doesn't insult God. What matters is that we must fear the Lord, we pray, and we do good. But my husband was sad. I said, there is nothing wrong with this music. One week after returning to world music, I initiated a week of fasting and prayer to get clarification from the Lord. Immediately the Lord spoke to me and said, it is better for you in all your life. You sing only songs that glorify me. You must listen to and sing these songs all the time. You must never sing or listen to a song that is not for my glory. I was stunned to hear these words, especially when the Lord said I must sing all the time to his glory. I realized that the Lord was not happy. Immediately I separated from world music. Over time, when I was invited to a friend's parties, I heard the world music again. Since many sisters had this music in their homes, I said, why is the Lord not telling them to abandon this music? But he would not let me listen to it. Finally, we decided we will no longer attend parties where world music is being played. In some cases, we will go, but when the music starts, we will leave. I was in many days of prayer rally, and I began to dream that I was attending the concert of the artist Coffee. I had this dream three consecutive times. I wonder I have separated from the world music and I am in the middle of many days of prayer. Why am I dreaming that I am attending a concert of world music? I saw that my husband was pulling me away from this place, but I was excited to see my favorite artist, Kafi. A sister told me, maybe the spirit of this artist is in your body. You need liberation prayer. I kept wondering why am I dreaming of this world celebrity? I remember that the last time I had that dream, I was in a restaurant where the music of this artist was playing. It was the song I used to listen to. And when it was playing, I did not think my inner being enjoyed it, despite the fact that I don't listen to it anymore. Finally, I decided that I could not be wherever this music is playing. It was entering my mind. And whenever I'm singing a Christian song, the song of this artist was also coming to my mind. As a result, something happened. I sang an old song of a former singer who is now a servant of God for she gave her life to the Lord. I was singing some words of her songs to please my husband. That evening when I sang words of this profane song to my husband, I saw that the communication with the Lord was broken. Basically, I have dedicated myself to prayer life to the point that my spiritual senses are activated. 
Whenever a member of my family is threatened by destruction or the spirit of death, I would see him in a dream asking for help. I see in many occasions the spirits of members of my family coming to my dreams to tell me their issue and asking me for help. Brother, when you are dedicated to prayer, you will begin to see people you intercede for in your dream, asking you for help when a member of your family is threatened by the angel of death. Even if he does not know it, his spirit will know that he is in danger, and his spirit will be looking for help from the people he knows that can help him. And if you are a man or woman of prayer, the spirits of your family member that are threatened by death and distraction will come to your dream to present their problem so that you will pray for them. Some people don't see the spirits of their family members coming to seek help. But whenever I'm in prayer, I see in dream members of my family coming to me to seek the help of a different kind. They may not know that they are threatened by the spirit of death, but the spirit will know and will come in my dream and vision to seek help. I don't want you to misunderstand this. We are spiritual men and women. The natural man does not understand the things of the spirit. They are foolishness for him, but a spiritual man understands all. Often when I am on my knee, I will hear the voice of a person that I know calling my name from far. When this happened, I would begin to intercede for the person because I would know that he has a problem. These things happen when people are in danger of death. What happened is that I was in prayer and I heard my sister calling and telling me things. To my surprise, I could not hear what she was telling me yet. Whenever I'm in prayer, I would hear her calling me from far and telling me her trouble. When I continued to pray, I saw her spirit appearing before me. She was talking to me, but my spiritual ears seemed to have a problem because I was unable to hear what she was saying. I began to ask the Lord, what is wrong with my sister? But the Lord was quiet. I decided to start many days of prayer campaign. To my surprise, I saw that I was dancing to a song by a secular artist. When I was dancing, I looked from the balcony and I saw my sister that I saw previously in the dream. She was trying hard to tell me something urgent but I could not hear her. I said to my sister, please wait for me. I must dance this song for these people. When I woke up from this strange dream, I said, Lord, why am I dreaming I am dancing worldly music in the middle of days of fasting and prayer? The Lord said, the reason you dream that you are dancing is simply that you had sung these songs in the physical. This profane song has stifled and blocked your spiritual ears. You are affected. That is why you cannot hear what your sister is trying to tell you. She is in serious trouble, and she needs your help. But you are not hearing her plea for help, because you sang that profane song that has blocked your ears, and you cannot hear my voice. Thus, a profane song that I sang has affected my ability to hear the spirit world. Beloved, the Lord said you must repent and confess in order to undo the destructive effect of the song on your spirit. Secular music has destroyed your spiritual ears and life. Since I was stained by the song, I needed to invoke the blood of Jesus. I understood that I was dancing in a dream because I sang the song in the day. And when you dream you are dancing, you are already affected by this music. And when you pray, you're going to have to see your spiritual condition that must be changed before you move on with the Lord. I came to understand that when I do not feel the presence of God, when there is no manifestation, there is surely something wrong and I will initiate days of fasting and prayer. The Lord always reveals what is the source of the blockade. Being exposed to world music can have an effect on your spirit. Today, many God's children are still listening to the world music. There is no way the Lord will use you and give you revelation and prophetic dream of hidden things. You won't see the spirit of your loved one that needs your prayer and help. One day I will tell you how a spirit of man talks to the spirit of another man, for our spirit talk to one another. Often people are not aware of the activity of their spirit. The spirit of men knows about men. Likewise, the spirit of God knows everything about God. 1 Corinthians 2.11 For what man knows the things of a man except the spirit of the man which is in him? Even so, no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God.